City Trees was commissioned by the Lesbian and Gay Band Association to celebrate their 30th anniversary and was premiered at the LGBA convention in Dallas, Texas on September 15, 2012. The piece is in a way celebratory, but not in the typical fashion of overt fanfare and bombast. Rather, it begins small and understated, then grows and grows reaching towering heights, only to subside and begin its ascent again. In a simple ternary form, the piece is very impressionistic, relying not on melodies and formal development methods, but more on timbre and mood. Markowski utilizes two recognizable chord progressions, as well as a prominent ostinato, which propels the music when needed, and also serving as an undercurrent to the long lyrical lines and smooth harmonies. He also makes use of small melodic gestures that embellish the ostinato and the harmonic progressions. The tonal vocabulary of the music is very modal, making ample use of the Lydian and Aeolian modes, with standard modulations and melodic embellishments that make each repetition of the chord progressions interesting again. Michael Markowski provides a lot of insight into the genesis of the work, and his creative and personal headspace at the time, which can be found all on his website and in a video on his YouTube channel. He describes having moved to New York City from Arizona and experiencing the dramatic change of environment while also feeling a personal loss of a relationship that had ended just before that. In that time, he took walks and he began to notice the trees that grow in New York and in his neighborhood of Brooklyn. The trees come in all shapes and sizes and grow in the tiniest little plots of dirt, and some even get big enough to break the concrete around it. In my own personal interpretation of this piece, I keep in mind that this work is meant to celebrate LGBTQ people and the 30 years of music, pride, and visibility. People in the LGBTQ community have a unique and historically challenging experience in our culture, and City Trees is such a perfect metaphor for the LGBTQ experience. The city tree, which exists and grows in perhaps what we can say is a less than ideal and even untenable place, still survives and even finds a way to thrive, breaking through its concrete confines or ascending to such tremendous heights. And having educated myself on what the LGBTQ experience has entailed, especially over the last 30 years, I know that many of the people in this community have had to deal with a society or environment that might not have been very ideal. And still, to this day, many groups and people find a way to grow, survive, and even triumph despite that environment. Michael Markowski came to the city, and perhaps because in Arizona they don't have trees like the ones in New York, he noticed them, and they stood out to him. And he gave a lot of thought to those trees, and tried to understand them when most New Yorkers might never notice the trees or even think about them, let alone think they are important. But somebody has to think of the trees, or they'd perish, or disappear from the city. And I think about that, and this piece, and the LGBTQ perspective and experience in our country, and I see how and why things are getting better in our society over the last 30 to 50 years. It's because people noticed them, and began to understand them, and think about them. And it is through that visibility and the process of understanding that people in the LGBTQ community began to be seen and be understood, and in that, making our world a more beautiful and nurturing place for people and trees of every kind. The trees along this city street, save for the traffic and the trains, would make a sound as thin and sweet as trees in country lanes. And people standing in their shade out of a shower undoubtedly would hear such music as is made upon a country tree. Oh, little leaves that are so dumb against the shrieking city air. I watch you when the wind has come. I know what sound is there. <laughs> 